I am branching out. I'm Dottie Peoples, and you're watching Branching Out. Hi everyone, I'm Gloria Goban from Bass Wives LA and you just caught me on Branching Out. Hi, we're the Braxtons and you're watching Branching Out. You are watching Branching Out. Wow, you look beautiful. Thank you. Alright, hey, it's Blair Underwood watching Branching Out. Bobby Jones and I branch it out for real. And it's a beautiful thing. Branch now. And I'm just excited to be back to celebrate the 20th anniversary. I'm Dr. Thomas Mensah. I'm one of the four inventors of fiber optics in the United States. Uh, fiber optics really makes the internet work. Without fiber optics, you cannot send pictures and photos or even emails on the internet. Uh, we created this technology uh, in the 80s and my contribution is in the place of reducing the cost of fiber optics so that it should be at the same level as copper in terms of cost. And by reducing this cost gap Fiber optics now permeates every life of every American, from cable television all the way to your ATM machines so you can get your money from it, to long distance cell phones. And fiber optics actually connects Europe, Japan, South Africa through what, what we call undersea or submarine cable. And my technology made that happen uh, because you need a fiber optics that's very strong enough so you can put them on the water. And I created a technology for that. Well, this book, The Right Stuff Comes in Black too. I wrote it because Ebony had did an article on me, three-page article, on blacks in technology. Ebony was telling me that kids have to know that people like me exist. Because they look on the television and everybody that talks about the internet or have a part in it is white. And so it was appropriate that black contributions be recognized in this area. I've just been elected as a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors. This group of people hold 14,000 patents that makes everything thing happen in America. And so this book I chronicle how we develop fiber optics and my role in it. And of course I said I'm one of the four guys, I'm the only black among the four who invented a technology. Now in this book I not only talk about fiber optics, lasers and the work we did at both Corning Glass Works as well as at and Bell Laboratories, but I tell people to focus on chapter 10 of the book in which I talk about the first African-American amusement park or success park. Well, I added that chapter into it because people ask me, uh, what's your major project now? And I felt we had to create something that will bring all blacks together in one place so blacks can be at this park and feel very, very proud. All the streets in the park are named after African Americans. You have Mandela Highway, you have Dr. King Highway, you have Malcolm X Boulevard, you have Muhammad Ali Boulevard. And so when kids go to the park, they will learn about our history. And, and actually, the fact that after 200 years, uh, we've succeeded in America, show that blacks can make things happen. That is why the right stuff comes in black too. Now in this park, if you take a helicopter and look down on the park, it is shaped like Africa. And kids going to the park should be able to do their DNA first, get in the park. If their DNA says they are, they are from South Africa or the Congo or from Ghana, 
they can go to the section of the park and be dressed like they are in Ghana or in Congo and eat the food, dress like they are in Ghana without spending a dime to travel to Africa. And this means all kids who don't have the money to do so can now enjoy all these experiences and their cultural heritage inside this park. We want to, we are now promoting a movie based on the park. And in this movie, we're going to take a cruise ship and sail from Africa to America. We call that the 21st century mid passage. Our ancestors came here in chains under horrible conditions, but this time, this is a cruise. So folks are going to dress nice like you and I. You know, in Branch Out TV, right. dress nice because it's a celebration right. voyage. But there's some seriousness to it mm -hmm. because when they reach, you know, we lost almost 10 million people because they were too sick, you know, to right. to make right. to make to make the voyage. Mm -hmm. So they just threw them overboard. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go slow when we reach the places where they threw these blacks overboard. We're gonna pay respect to those kids, those folks that were thrown over uh, as, as, as we make it to the East Coast of America. The movie is now being promoted and uh, in fact I kept saying that we want Denzel Washington or Jamie Foxx. Denzel will be the captain of the ship and Jamie uh, the assistant captain. Right, okay. So they will be in the movie? Yes. Okay. And there will be 300 people, and there are some interesting aspects of this movie uh, that uh, I can talk about later. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when they reach the East Coast, they're going to be hugged, like folks are hugged when they come to Ellis Island, not to be sold again. In fact, the foreword was written by a great friend of mine, Charles Henry. Charles is a vice president at uh, Verizon. And he's African American. And in the in the forward, as you see, Charles compare this work and what I've done to the work of Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, the work of Vin Cerf, one of the creators of the internet, the work of uh, Mark Zuckerberg. So he compares what I've done because without fibrotics, Google and all those companies wouldn't exist. But what's what's very important is to let kids in high school students in historical black colleges, blacks all over the world to know that they can make things happen. They have the ability to do anything that anybody else can do. Right. They have to focus and get it done. Right. So, I mean, I tell people getting seven patents or inventions in six years, it takes people 10 years to get one. So you get seven in six years in fiber optics, that's serious. Now, this park is going to have a lot of fiber optics in it because there will be interactive uh, walls and interactive uh, panels throughout the park. So a little kid can go into the park. Let's say he wants to be an astronaut. He touches the screen and is touch sensitive. An astronaut will show up. Eight-year-old seeing a black astronaut doing spacewalk. Or a little girl, six-year-old, touching the screen and seeing a black person doing surgery that looks like her. Hopefully this is going to really impact them and let them pursue science and STEM subjects. So this park is going to be important for us. It's going to show what we can do. And as I said, the rights will be named after blacks. And it's a cultural environment, immersible in environment, and they're going to have fun playing in the park. The idea of the park, uh, it, it's, it's, it's going to be very, very important. You know, having a park, not just a museum, a park that that is as good as Disney, except that when we go there, we see something that looks like us. This whole concept is so successful that even the Chinese want us to do one for them. And people in Japan want us to do one. So when you go on the internet and, 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 and then put in Google, Success Park Japan, you will see what we are doing, we're doing in Japan. Success so Park China, you see what we are doing in China. And of course, Ours is called Success Park USA, and we'll do some interesting things in Washington, D.C. because it's Black History Month, and you are the first, uh, branching out is the first television show to get us. To get you, yeah, see? On Black oh, wow. History Month, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I don't want to let a cat out of the bag, but it's going to be fascinating. You know, 300 people to get on the ship. And they'll be asked, why are you getting on this ship? My ancestors got on the ship okay, so like what's this. The name? What's the name of it? What's oh, I was just looking for it. <laughs> Use something else. Right now, I'll, I'll, call it, I'll, I'll, I'll call it Success Park Cruise Cruise Ship Movie. Okay. But I'll that's, go with that. Yeah. We'll go for that. Yeah, we'll go for, for that. For right now. Yeah, for right now. Okay. But we'll give you details okay. later. Okay. It's going to be more fascinating. You more know. fascinating. Okay. More fascinating. You know, more fascinating. You are tempting me too much. You know, because, yeah, 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 yeah. 